Vitronectin is a xeno-free cell culture matrix for iPSC culture and differentiation. It should be stored at minus 80 degrees until you intend to use it, and then it can be thawed at room temperature or overnight at 4 degrees. It should be used at a working concentration of 10 micrograms per mil, so the stock should be diluted using a 1 in 25 dilution in PBS. You should calculate how much phytronectin you need for all of the wells you require first, and then combine the appropriate amounts of PBS and phytronectin. In the following video, we will be demonstrating how to coat six well plates with phytronectin, but there are many different types of substrate available to use when culturing IPSCs. The choice will depend on several factors, including availability and cost, ease of use, storage conditions, and what you intend to use your cells for. Some of these options are animal derived, which you may need to specifically avoid, particularly for clinical applications. Some substrates are optimized for use with specific media. You should also consider whether you'll be passaging your cells as aggregates or single cells, as some types of substrate give better single cell attachment than others. Shelf life is also another important consideration, as there is a wide variation in shelf life between different types of substrate. First, calculate how much vitronectin you need for all of your wells, then combine the appropriate amounts of PBS and vitronectin. The next step is to mix the vitronectin solution. This should be done using a stripette and not by inversion to avoid any leaks and to prevent any potential contamination. After the mixing is complete, add 1 ml of the vitronectin solution to each well of your 6 well plate. The plate should then be agitated in order to distribute the vitronectin evenly. This is important because any gaps in the vitronectin layer can potentially cause your cells to detach from the plate. Plates should then be incubated at room temperature for one hour, during which the vitronectin will coat the plastic surface, and then it will be ready to use. <laughs> 